Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on building an AI-powered email autoresponder designed specifically to handle sales objections using ChatGPT prompts. Whether you're looking to automate your responses to common objections, streamline your sales communication, or master AI-driven email automations, this video has you covered. We'll walk through each step so you know exactly how to set up the system and start getting results with minimal effort. Ready to automate your email replies? Let's get started. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. As always, remember that everything we cover here is designed to help you succeed. These are actionable strategies that you can use right now. If you're new here or looking for more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. Let's dive right in. All right, let's dive into building this AI-powered sales objection autoresponder step by step. Imagine this, every time a potential client sends you an email with a sales objection, whether it's about pricing, timing, or budget concerns, you don't have to think twice about crafting a reply. Why? Because the autoresponder you've set up using ChatGPT takes care of it for you. It automatically generates a thoughtful, persuasive response that tackles the objection and moves the conversation closer to a sale. This system will save you hours each week and make sure your responses are timely, consistent, and aligned with best practices. Let's break down the process of setting this up. First, you'll want to think about the objections you typically face in your sales conversations. Whether it's a client saying, I don't have the budget right now, or I need more time to decide. These are common roadblocks that can stall a sale. The good news, you don't have to come up with a fresh response every time. I've already created a template that covers these common objections with proven effective replies. You can take this template and customize it to suit your specific business and sales approach. This ensures that every response feels personalized while still being automated. And don't worry, this template along with others from my video is available in the school community, which I've linked below. Next, let's automate the email process. We'll be using make.com for this, and the first thing you'll need to do is add a new email module. The action you'll set here is watch emails. What this does is monitor all incoming emails in your account. This works whether you're using Gmail, Outlook, or another email provider. Today, I'll be using Outlook for this demo, but don't worry, the setup process is essentially the same across all providers. Once your email module is in place, it's time to connect your email account. For those using Gmail, you might have to jump through a couple extra hoops to get everything connected, but I've included a step-by-step -step guide in the description below to make that process smooth and straightforward for you. Now that your email account is connected, you'll want to configure it to only monitor certain types of emails. Set the folder to Inbox and adjust the criteria so it only looks at unread emails. This is key because we want to make sure that the autoresponder only triggers for new unread emails and not ones that you've already dealt with. If the email has been replied to or manually handled, you won't want the system to send an automated response. With the email monitoring in place, it's time to bring in the real game changer, ChatGPT. This is where your autoresponder will shine by crafting personalized objection handled emails based on incoming messages. To set this up, add an OpenAI module to your automation in make.com. This module will be responsible for generating the actual content of your replies. But before we get to that, we need to add a filter between the email and OpenAI modules. This filter will ensure that only relevant emails trigger a response. Specifically, we want the autoresponder to activate for replies from potential customers. So in the filter settings, we'll set a condition based on the subject line. We'll use the contains text operator and add re as the filters. This ensures that only emails that are replies, meaning they're a part of an ongoing conversation, trigger the system. Next, you'll need to set up the OpenAI module itself. First, you'll connect your OpenAI account using an API key. Don't worry if you haven't connected your OpenAI account yet. I've included a full tutorial in the description below to walk you through this part. It's a simple process, and once it's done, you're all set up to use ChatGPT to handle your email replies. For this example, we'll be using GPT-4.0, which is the most advanced models available today. 
Now, let's get into the details of the prompt. The key to a successful autoresponder is giving ChatGPT the right instructions. So, your prompt will consist of three main parts. First, you want to provide the details of your company, like your company name, a brief description of what you do, your name, and your role. This is super important because it helps ChatGPT understand the context it's working in and ensures the responses are on point. Next, we need to tell ChatGPT what emails it's responding to. We'll do this by adding the email content. Start by writing email to answer, and then insert the email text from the incoming email module. This helps the AI see exactly what the prospect is asking or objecting to. To make it even more personalized, add the prospect's name and the email from the first email module to the response. Now, let's get into the real power of the automation. You'll want to instruct ChatGPT to respond as a professional email copywriter who specializes in identifying and addressing sales objections. You'll guide it through several steps. First, to identify the objection. Second, to determine the type of objection. Third, craft a response based on the templates that you've set up for handling that particular objection. And lastly, to format the response in HTML so that it looks polished and professional in any email provider. The instructions should start with think in steps. We want the bot to first figure out if the email contains an objection, then identify what type of objection it is, and finally generate a response based on our objection handling templates. Lastly, we'll ask ChatGPT to format the response in HTML so it looks great no matter what email provider the customer is using. Here's the full prompt you'll use. And of course, this prompt along with other templates is available in the school community, linked below in the description. This setup ensures your automated replies are clear, professional, and specifically tailored to address each customer objection. Once that's done, we'll add a little safeguard to make sure you don't send too many emails at once. We'll introduce a sleep module with a 120 second delay between responses. This is important because you don't want to flood your email provider with too many automated messages in a short period. It could raise some red flags and get your account flagged for sp uh, suspicious activity. This sleep module will pace your responses, giving them a more natural flow and avoiding potential issues with your email provider. After that, it's time to configure the final step, sending the actual email. In make.com, add a new email module with the action to send an email. You'll set the recipient to be the original email sender, that's your lead or customer, and the subject line should match the original subject from the first email. This keeps the conversation cohesive and easy to follow. Now for the content. This is where you'll input the HTML response generated by ChatGPT. Map the output from the OpenAI module into the email body, and voila, you've just created an automated objection handling email reply. Now, let's zoom out and consider what this automation does. It takes a manual, time-consuming task, handling common sales objections, and transforms it into a streamlined, automated system. Instead of spending your time writing out responses or stressing about what to say, you let ChatGPT handle all the heavy lifting. And because the responses are automated, you're replying to a customer's emails faster than ever, which can be a game changer when it comes to closing a sale. Imagine being able to focus on high-level strategy or building strong client relationships while this system takes care of the routine but crucial tasks of replying to objections. The beauty of this setup isn't just in saving time, it also ensures the consistency and quality of your communication. The responses are templated, but because they're personalized with each customer's details, you can be sure that every email is thoughtful, professional, and directly addresses your customer's concerns. But here's the thing, this autoresponder is not just reactive, it's proactive. By responding quickly and accurately, you're keeping the momentum in the sales process and staying ahead of the curve. You're not letting leads fall through the cracks or missing opportunities because of slow response times. And the best part? This setup is super flexible. You can customize the ChatGPT prompt to handle specific sales scenarios or fine tune the filters to trigger different responses based on the type of objection the customer has. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of this system. On the plus side, the biggest win is the time-saving factor. You're automating a task that could otherwise eat up hours of your day. You're also improving response time, which can directly impact your conversion rates. Plus, the system ensures that every reply is high quality and consistent, no more worrying about whether you forgot to mention something important in an email. 
Another advantage is that this automation allows you to handle a larger volume of emails without feeling overwhelmed. But of course, no system is perfect. The cons? There is some setup time involved. You'll need to take a bit of time up front to set everything up correctly, especially when customizing the templates and tweaking the filters. Another potential downside is that while ChatGPT is amazing at generating responses, there's always that chance that the AI might misinterpret a complex objection. That's why it's a good idea to monitor the system at first and make adjustments as needed. And finally, depending on how much you're using the OpenAI's API, there could be some costs involved. So keep an eye on your usage. Now, for those who want to upgrade this workflow, there are a few tips I've found that are super useful. First, you can refine the ChatGPT prompts to make them even more targeted. For example, instead of just identifying an objection and responding, you could ask the AI to analyze the tone of the email and tailor its response based on whether the customer seems frustrated, hesitant, or excited. This would make the responses feel even more personal and relevant. Another great tip is to integrate the system with your CRM. Imagine if every time ChatGPT responds to an objection, the conversation is automatically logged in your CRM under the customer's profile. That way you have a complete record of every interaction and you or your sales team can pick up right where ChatGPT left off if needed. And finally, you could add a sentiment analysis tool as a part of the workflow. This would allow the AI to not only handle objections, but also gauge the overall sentiment of the customer, giving you insight into whether they're likely to convert, need more nurturing, or if there's an issue that needs your immediate attention. For example, you can add another OpenAI module that evaluates the sentiment of an email. If the sentiment is neutral or positive, the system can send the response automatically as usual. But if the sentiment is flagged as negative, or if the AI detects that something might need a more personal touch, it could instead create a draft of the response instead of sending it. This draft would allow you to manually review and tweak the response to ensure that it's just right for that particular situation. Additionally, you could set up a notification system so that if a manual response is required, you'll get an alert, like an email or even a Slack message prompting you to step in and handle it in person. This way, you're automating 90% of your objection handling, but still maintaining a level of control and personal touch when necessary, ensuring that nothing slips through the cracks and that important issues are addressed with care. To wrap things up, this autoresponder system is more than just an email tool. It's a productivity booster. It's a time saver and a way to stay ahead of your competition in your sales process. It handles objections with ease, helps close more deals, and frees you up to focus on the bigger picture. If you're looking for a way to automate your workflow and make your sales process more efficient, this is it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit that bell button so you never miss out on new content. I've got tons of tips, tricks, and automation strategies coming your way, so stay tuned. Also, be sure to check out the school community link below. You'll find all the templates we've discussed, plus extra resources to help you level up your automation. It's a great place to connect, ask questions, and get exclusive content that will make your workflow even smoother. Thank you for watching. Drop a comment if you've got any questions or ideas, and I'll see you in the next video.